what is up guys what is up how is everybody doing hope everybody's doing well uh, we're gonna have a little unboxing um, and we're gonna have a little review um, this is the new um, 1080p HD uh, capture card from Mirabox this is the USB 3.1 um, this come out not too long ago it is a hundred and ten dollars on Amazon it's very small it's very sleek and we're gonna check it out so yes HD video capture USB 3.1 uh, it's a HSV 3217 mirror box I guess that's the actual numbers of HSV 3217 of course you have your instructions we might actually have to read these instructions this time around uh, normally we don't so here it is here's the mirror box HD uh, capture USB 3.1 very small it's about the size of a um, a fat candy bar I mean I don't know it's I'm fat I think about food mm, candy bar uh, it's just like I said it's very small um, like I say, it has the instructions, and it has the option to have, um, this is a C-style, um, like most smartphones, a lot of Samsung use this C-style um, USB um, charger or uh, power source, and then it comes out to a U regular USB, uh, 3.0 USB, it's a blue, or 3.1, I guess, then this uh, in this instance, okay, you can use this one if you want to. Um, this is the main inlet, though, on the mirror box is the is the C style um, USB inlet. Um, but you have the option to have it come out to a 3.0 or 3.1 regular USB for like a PC. But if you don't want to use that, you can actually use this C style to C style. Uh, and I'm not sure if you can hook this up to like to to a tablet. Uh, you can run the capture cord, uh, capture cord, the capture card through a tablet if you're wanting to record whatever game you're playing through your tablet. Um, so this is a variable option because, like I say, I know a lot of newer devices use this um, C style uh, C style charger, USB charger type. So they have they does give you an option that you could use either one. But as for the capture card itself, like I say, it's it's very small. It's very petite. Um, you have the C-style inlet um, that plugs in here. And like I say, it either comes out into another C-style or, or comes out to the USB 3.0. And that in turn goes into whatever device that you're wanting to, um, I guess, record um, like say this would go out into my computer like if I want to run it through OBS so this part here would actually in my benefit this part the C style goes in and it comes out to the USB 3.0 and the USB 3.0 goes into my actual PC uh, if you're wanting to run it to some other kind of device then you would use the other kind of charger if that's what the charger called for or the cord charge for rather I'm sorry uh, of course you have your mic uh, input your um, audio input, your out, and your in. So these two devices right here, um, I don't have to use when I'm using OBS and using this through my computer because I have a PCI, uh, Aver Media Capture Card in my PC, and it has an audio out, and I don't have to use the audio out. So you don't have to use these, or at least I don't have to use these. Um, then you've got the output. This here right here goes to like... Um, Say you're using a Xbox uh, One, your Xbox One plugs into here, uh, which is HDMI, and this HDMI here out would go into like your monitor. So, like I say, very simple hookup. You got your input here with the C style charger, which I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. The C style goes in here. This part here, which is the three point the three point one USB, plugs into your PC. Um, these two here, um, I don't have to use. You might have to use them. I don't know. Uh, this part here, which is a HDM, HDMI out, this will go to um, like my uh, monitor that I would use to game on. And this input here goes out to the actual Xbox One, PS4, 
whatever you're using. But I'm, in my instance, I'm going to be using the Xbox One. Um, like I say, this is the only, the second time that I've ever actually messed with a capture card. The first one was a Elgato. Um, I really particularly didn't like the Elgato, so I got rid of it. This one here is a 1080p, 30 frames per second. I know everybody wants 60 frames per second, yada, yada, yada. But this one here I think will be sufficient to do what I need it to do. So I'm going to hook this bad boy up right fast um, to my newest game and computer. And a matter of fact, I bought an Xbox One S all digital uh, setup today. And I want to see if it works. So stick around and we'll see if it works or not. Uh, by the way, this is a hundred, a hundred and ten dollars on Amazon. A hundred and ten dollars on Amazon. Uh, I will leave a link in the description if anybody's looking for a capture card. Uh, that's barren that it's good. I mean, it might be a piece of crap. If it's not good, if it's a piece of crap, I'm not leaving a link in the description. Uh, and I'm not getting paid to do this review or anything. Uh, Amazon sent me this. Uh, they want their they want an honest opinion. They said if it's garbage, please let us know. If it's worth the hundred and ten dollars, please let us know. So I'm not getting paid to do these reviews. Um, it's an honest review, and that's what I'm gonna give you. So stick around, and we're gonna see if we can upload some footage of playing Xbox One on the new gaming PC. So let's see. Alright guys, so we got this thing hooked up, Alan Wake, Xbox One, but this is a 360 game. I'm trying to see if the audio, you guys can hear the audio and you guys can hear my mic. Alright you jerks, that shit was blind as you. Oh, flash banged him. Man, this game was always difficult to me. So hopefully the audio is matching up. Here, that's my thing. And if it is, then sweet. And it's not. Audio was off because I had OBS open beforehand. All right, guys. So there you have it: the Mirabox HD capture card, the 3.1 Type C uh, capture card, $110 on Amazon. Um, according to the instructions, it does 1080p at 60 frames per second. Uh, so we're going to go with that. That's what it does. Um, like I say, I literally took five minutes to hook this up. It was relatively simple. Um, I did not use either one of the mic or the, uh, headphone inputs. I ran everything through OBS. Um, there was one little trick you had to do with OBS when adding this. Um, as a uh, video capture device, you had to go into the audio steps, uh, audio um, settings of the video capture device and check use custom audio device and then scroll down and use this. Um, and after you did that, there was one little box above use the custom audio device and you opened it up and you used direct sound um, and the direct sound goes through your PC. So if you're streaming, your whoever's watching your streams or whatever they will be able to hear this game sound of what's going on um now that is for streaming only i'm not so sure about game capture if you have to use either one of these for game capture i don't know but as far as streaming goes which is what i will be using this uh for on my new game of pc with the xbox one i just bought um this thing is pretty awesome, and it's simple to set up. Uh, I'm no tech uh, tech genius or guru or anything like that. Um, I'm a simpleton, and I literally took five minutes to hook this up. Very simple. Highly recommend. Um, I'm going to be using this thing. So, yeah, I'll leave a link in the description if you guys are looking for a capture card. 
It takes up literally no room. There's no software to install. Plug and play. My computer picked it up like that. You're done, dude. Set it up through OBS, XSplit, whatever your streaming software, and you're done. So I highly recommend it, guys. Uh, it's it's a good piece of equipment to have, especially if you're just wanting to start streaming. Much love. God bless you guys. Appreciate y'all. Stay safe. We're out of here.